What is up guys, bring me the bow here and a uh, little bit of a different camera angle. I'm trying different things out with the tripod in terms of angling and stuff. But um, also, wearing glasses because, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it because uh, my glasses are kind of optional. But uh, I should wear glasses because they make me look smart, let me know in the comments. But um, today's video was just kind of like a, an impromptu video. Um, it's not going to be too long, well... I say that now, but it's probably going to be. <laughs> but um, I caught something last night that actually serves a purpose um, in terms of me keeping it. Because, uh, so as many of you know, I keep hog noses, and hog noses are specialized toad eaters. So because of that, um, sometimes babies will come out and they will refuse to eat rodents. And they're refusing to eat rodents because they are, you know, essentially genetically programmed to hunt toads. And that is what they are adapted to do. So, um, there are a couple ways to get around this problem. Um, get lucky. And, uh, the babies actually come out. And they're not picky at all. Um, using, um, tuna juice, salmon juice. I can't remember what other fish juice. There's another fish juice out there, but it, it's types of fish juices, which, uh, by the way, fish juice, I don't mean like actually, you know, grinding it into a, a juice like you like you would with a fruit. Um, I mean the, the gross juice that's, that's in the can. Um, using that for scenting is pretty common, uh, as well as um, doing what's known as rubbing, um, which rubbing is rubbing the pinky or the food item on a toad. So, um, as you can probably tell from that one, since I also left that as the last option, even though that's not all the options out there, there are tons of different things you can try, which I will be making a video on that uh, in the future, like in the near future, I should say. But um, without further ado, I thought it was it'll be time to introduce this toad that I caught. Um, its name is Pancake. It's an it for now until... Um, my mom gets back from her business trips and she used to uh, work with the Wyoming Toad for Fish and Wildlife Services in Wyoming. Uh, she's pretty qualified to figure out the sex of a toad, especially those that are in the Bufo genus, because um, the Wyoming Toad, which used to be known as the Bufo Baxteri, uh, was a Bufo Toad. And like I'm, I'm saying was because it's no longer a Bufo and I didn't really bother to get to know the uh, correct taxonomic name for it now, because I, for me, it's always going to be the Bufo Baxteri. It's still a Baxteri, but it's not Bufo. Um, I want to say that this toad species is also a Bufo. I don't have any of my books hit, sitting around here. It doesn't matter if it's a Bufo or not, I, because um, these toads will be able to sex them. Because it, my mom says it's pretty universal across most toad species in the North America continent. So, she'll be sexing Pancake when she gets back. I did name Pancake because, um, anything I take care of that is in my care, I'm treating it like a pet. And so, without further ado, this is Pancake. Pancake I found last night, which for you guys watching, that would be, what's today? Like the... 17th? 18th of February? Let's see here. Yeah, it'd be the 18th um, of February, so on the night of the 17th, um, I found this toad while my friend and I were out on a walk. And uh, I was just sitting there. It was kind of weird because uh, currently the daytime temperatures are around what you'd expect to see um, reptiles and amphibians in here in Arizona. Uh, mid 70s about which is when they start to come out but the nighttime temperatures are so cold um depending on where you are i should say in arizona um because uh last night out in the part of the desert that we were at uh i think it dropped into like down to 48 degrees or so which that's a bit cold for a little toad so um i kept the toad and i was like oh well I needed a toad for scenting purposes as well, and this looks like a very healthy toad. It's also a very cute toad. 
So, um, definitely keeping the toad, just because it's a cute toad. But then, also because of the fact that I need toads for scenting purposes. Now, um, using toads for scenting purposes, uh, you can do one of two things. Uh, you can use the outsides or the insides for scenting. Um, I'm going to use the outsides because I, I'm not comfortable cutting animals open. So, unless it is absolutely necessary. And I'm obviously not going to do it while it's alive. But I've, I've had to cut open, even though it was a dead mouse, I've had to do that. And it is not very fun. I, I don't like doing it. I'm very squeamish about it. Even if the animal is already dead, I'm... The only time that I'm not squeamish about it is like for dissections, and that's because they, they almost look rubbery. And they, except for like mammals and stuff, I can't do that. But like with sharks and stuff, I can. But yeah. Anyway, back back on topic. I almost started grossing myself out thinking about them. Ugh. But um. Yeah. So this is pancake. Named it pancake because it, it pancake really flattens out. But then uh. Pancakes smell nice. Um, the smell of pancakes is something that I really enjoy and I'll, you, pretty much always makes me hungry. And I want pancake smell to make my snakes hungry. So, um, that, that's why the name is Pancake. Plus, it just kind of fits. I was going to name it Flapjack, but I used to have a turtle named Flapjack. And Flapjack is still very much still alive. It's out in Montana right now, somewhere at like uh, Riverfront Park in Billings. Uh, for like the two of you watching that know where that is, um, and the one of you who knows who Flap, or two of you who know who Flapjack is, and one of you who still lives in Billings, um, yeah, this is um, a red, an example of a red spotted toad. When I get some more color patterns and color variations, all right, what are you doing? Um, I will show you guys. Sorry, I'm like scared that. Pancake's gonna jump and it's gonna fall. That I'm gonna have to give it a bath. But um, God, you're just so cute. But um, once I get more color pattern vary in color variations, um, I will make an entire video on these guys. And then also during monsoon season, I plan to do videos on spadefoots because there are two species of spadefoots out here. I think it's the plain spadefoot and the couches spadefoot are the ones that we can find here in Maricopa County. So. I'll be doing videos on those two species. I don't know if I'm going to do them together, separate, or what, because I do find hybrids of them quite frequently. So, I will probably do videos on the hybridization of them as well. Um, definitely we'll do red spotted toads again. And then, what else is it? Oh, the Sonoran Desert Toad. How can I forget, because they're so freaking big. And I had one for a while. Um, I will be doing videos on them as well as just video of me out there catching them because they are, they are meaty toads. They're like, I can't, it's like this big around roughly and it's back's about that wide. It's the biggest I've seen. They've also been like from this thumb to this thumb roughly, like about, about the size of my head like that. Um, they, they can be pretty big. Um, oh, what are you doing, Pancake? They can be pretty big, so and they're always fun because they always make these cool chirping sounds when you pick them up, and they're just they're just big. It's, they're always fun to take pictures of and with. So I'll definitely be making a video on them as well as more just native amphibians. Um, I think I saw footage from like a while ago um, of one of the uh, canyon tree frogs that lives here in Arizona. So I'll probably be doing a video using some of that footage for something just because I have it. And it would be a shame to let it go to waste because it was just funny footage. So, um, I will be taking the audio off because, I don't know why. I think it's just mainly because of all the people, like little kids screaming in the water and whatnot. But, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Just kind of short. Just introducing who Pancake is and why I have Pancake. Um, and then obviously, like I said, I'm going to go more in depth into scenting things why you need to send, um, and then just amphibians in general, like the species that I can, that I will have readily on hand, as well as my white tree frog, but, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as some, like, outro stuff, I'm just going to put Pancake up to the camera. Also, still taking in reptile questions, amphibian questions, and invert questions. So if you guys have any of those, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.